Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel. So in today's video, we are going to be talking about the evolution of Frankie de Jong and then later in the video, we're also going to be talking about Ronald Araujo and Gavi's contract renewal with FC Barcelona. There is so much that we do have to discuss within today's video. Of course, we are going to be talking about Frankie's evolution because of what did happen yesterday. Yesterday, Barcelona beat Atletico Madrid for 2 It was a huge win. Like not only did we get the three points, but we got the three points in style. We saw a Barcelona that we have not seen for so many years. And now I do want to make a video, right? And talk about Frankie de Jong and praise his evolution throughout this time. Because look, one thing is for sure, Barcelona, they have improved. And we have a great feeling right now that there is a rebuilding going on in this club, that we are starting something brand new. And especially for Frankie de Jong and the way that he has been evolving. Now, what does that mean, right? What does it mean when I say that Frankie de Jong has evolved his game? Well, let's look at the differences in terms of how he's playing today and what we used to see before. So as we do look at these pictures here, I'm sorry that I can't put like a video through this video that I am posting here on this channel because if I do post a video when it comes to La Liga matches, I am going to get flagged. I do have a total of like two flags already. So if I get one more, this channel is going to be taken down. So this is the best that I could do, but we are going to be showing frame by frame. So as we see here, as these pictures do go by, Frankie de Jong continues to put himself in a position where he can receive and he is receiving much deeper than before. And because he does receive much deeper and he becomes that third center back in that defense of line, he is allowed to play even more with the ball. And so finally, right, finally we see Xavi Hernandez give Frankie de Jong the permission to be that third center back on the left side. It's very similar to what we have seen with Ajax. We did not see this before. And so what are the pros when it comes to Frankie de Jong being positioned in that area? So this allows three different things. Point number one, it does give him more participation on that defensive line, of course. Point number two, it gives Jordi Alba the opportunity to act as a real winger, as we can see here, going through these pictures that Alba is going higher and higher as Frankie continues to go deeper and deeper. And then point number three, it also allows Sergio Busquets to remain in his own area, an area where he is very dominant. Because usually what we did used to see before, I think like in the beginning phase of Xavi's era in Barcelona and in the Koeman era, we saw Busquets be the one that dropped deep and become that third man. He was between either Gerard Piquet or Ronald Araujo or Gerard Piquet and Eric Garcia. And they formed a back three, but not over here. What we are seeing here is Frankie de Jong dropping deep and becoming that third left center back and not only does this improve Frankie de Jong's game but it improves Barcelona's attack just look at what Jordi Alba can be positioned look at how functional it does become when you see Alba, Gavi, Frankie and Ferran Torres all being positioned to get the ball and just to give you guys a better imagery of where Frankie de Jong was playing on that left center back area you can see here on these pictures where exactly he did receive the ball which is going to be the left picture that you do see on this frame and then on the right side we can see where those passes went. And as we do analyze where these passes are going, again, this is very similar to what we did see with Ajax. There has been a lot of through passes that were executed last night that went down the left flank. Why? That is because he was building with Gavi and Jordi Alba and he was the one that started the play. And then we see passes that are going to the side, but that mainly was executed because he wanted to switch the play. He was in charge of switching play for Barcelona. And another thing that I do want to point out that is a pro when it comes to Frankie being positioned in like this is because Frankie was so dominant on the ball because Atletico Madrid were so focused on trying to mark Frankie even though they couldn't because they always had one player open because there was a lot of action on that left side this is why we saw Adama Traore perform the way that he did perform last night it gave Adama Traore so much space and that is why he was taking on so many players and we saw why he was bringing in these assists and so again Frankie de Jong's new position it greatly does benefit Barcelona and most importantly it does benefit himself and I can't wait to see just how he continues to evolve as a player under Xavi's Barcelona. Now let's move on towards the latest regarding Ronald Araujo and Gavi and starting with Araujo. So the day before that match between Atletico Madrid and Barcelona, we were discussing on how Araujo is going to be having his renewal completed very soon and that tomorrow, right, when I was speaking on that day, that game between Atletico Madrid and Barcelona was going to be a game where he could prove himself on why he should be one of the biggest earners in Barcelona. And of course, right, we saw exactly that. He was defensively very solid against Atletico Madrid and he scored a goal. He is a complete warrior. There's not, there's like not a single game where we say that he does not deserve to have one of the biggest contracts in Barcelona. No, this guy here is the complete opposite. He has the capability, as a matter of fact, to even potentially become a captain in this squad. Like if you were to ask me, who do you think will be the future captains of Chavis Barcelona in about three to four years? I do think that it could be either Frankie de Jong, Ronald Araujo, Ter Stegen, or Eric Garcia. And we're talking about like three to four years from now, not anywhere near this season 
season or next season, but in about three to four years. And so it does say here, according to Ferran Martinez, Araujo's renewal is on track. His agents are trying to get the best deal possible. The club is making an effort to improve the terms in his contract, and the idea is to renew him until 2027. There were talks with Manchester United, but Araujo only wants FC Barcelona. So it's great to hear this, right? Because if Araujo was looking for like the biggest money, knowing that he has been playing well, he can easily demand the biggest money, the biggest contract from like another club. He could have gone to Manchester United. We know United can afford someone like Araujo and then pay him like about 12 to 15 million euros per season. But no, Araujo is committed. He wants to be a Barcelona player for many years. He would much rather take the teachings of Xavi than having the biggest contract in the world because he knows that eventually he is going to be having one of the biggest contracts in the world in Barcelona as we progress economically too. So because Xavi is going to be here for many years and we know that he will be here to really build something great in this club, Ronald Araujo does want to be right alongside him and build something truly special. And then now moving towards Gavi and it does say here according to Mateo Moreto, the renewal of Gavi is getting closer. Very soon a final meeting between the parties will take place to seal a definitive agreement. Gavi's renewal is still very much well on track. The details are yet to be closed but his will and commitment to stay is key. The intention is for his new contract to be valid until 2027 and having a 1 billion release clause. And so I do think that one of the reasons on why we haven't seen Gavi come to an agreement and renew that contract and alongside with Ronald Araujo, I'm starting to get a feeling that one of the things that Barcelona and Jordan Laporta and Mateo Lamont are waiting for is for the Spotify agreement, something that we have talked about before. If you guys want to check out what that Spotify agreement is all about, there is a video on that. Just search up Barza Media Spotify agreement and then you'll be able to find it. So again, I do think that that is probably one of the reasons on why Barcelona is waiting to finalize the agreements of Gavi and Ronald Araujo because we have to remember that this sponsorship deal that is going to be happening very soon and let me tell you guys it is going to be happening very soon because yesterday between the teams of Barcelona and Atletico Madrid there were many executives from Spotify that were watching the game there they were at the Cap News so let me tell you guys this is going to be something that is going to be happening very soon and most importantly this sponsorship agreement is going to be the biggest sponsorship agreement ever in football history so hopefully they get this deal done as soon as possible so we can finally celebrate the renewal of Gavi and Ronald Araujo. But that is going to be wrapping up today's Barcelona Daily News. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys are new here, welcome to the channel. Please like, subscribe, comment, and I will see you guys in the next video.